Okay, my name is Arzov Mohamed Saparva. I'm going to explain you today uh, Unit 9 from Headway book, Expressing Habits. So, expressing habit, uh, we can express it in present simple. So, this is the familiar topic to you. Expressing habit uh, in present simple, we are using adverbs of frequency. So, they are expressing our habits. What we should remember uh, with adverbs of frequency is that they come before the main verb, but after the verb to be. And, for example, we can look here, I rarely watch TV. So, rarely comes the main verb, uh, before the main verb watch. We, he frequently asks for help. Frequently, adverb of frequency comes before the verb asks. But, she, usually, she is usually very easy going. Usually comes be after the verb is. We are hardly ever late. Hardly ever comes after the verb are. Next one. Sometimes, usually and occasionally can come at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. So, example. I eat dinner at home usually. Occasionally, I feel bored stiff at school. So, usually came at the end of the sentence, occasionally came at the beginning of the sentence. So, let's try to make these sentences. Put the adverbs in the right place in the sentences. Seldom you wear a hat. Correct answer will be you seldom wear a hat. Normally, she is very energetic. She is normally energetic. Expressing habits in present uh, continues. Present in the present continuous can be used to express a habit which happens often or perhaps unexpectedly. So, you're always helping people. We're using here always. So, it means it happens more than is usual. However, there is an often element of criticism with this structure. Let's have a look into these uh, two sentences and we can see the differences between them. Leon always phones very late. And Leon is always phoning very late. Leon always phones, we are giving simple fact. So this is simple information. But if we say Leon is always phoning, is always phoning, this structure shows that I find it annoying. So it is criticism. So this adverb of frequency in the present continuous shows the criticism. Let's make the sentences. Forever he lose my things. The sentence will be, he is forever losing my things. Always he fight at school. He is always fighting at school. Expressing habit with will and would. Will and would express typical behavior. So they describe both unpleasant and unpleasant habit. For instance, he'll spend most weekends playing football. This sentence, he'll, uh, shows typical behavior. Should talk on the phone for hours. Should talk shows past behavior. Would cannot be used to express state. Second thing which we should uh, remember, will and would, when we, decontract it, when we decontract them, it means we use full form, it expresses an annoying habit or action. So if we say, he will borrow my clothes without asking, it means I don't like it, I'm expressing my annoyance. She would arrive late to every meeting. Again, I'm expressing annoyance here. Next one, used to plus infinitive. Used to plus infinitive, this structure expresses a past action or a state. 
it has no present equivalent. So what we remember that it is a past action. When I was at school, I used to study really hard. So used to study, that was my past action. She used to be a dancer, but now she teaches. Used to be a, that's a past state. So we can use used to, to express past action or a state, but not about the present. Second, notice a negative and question. So to make negatives or questions with used to, we are using didn't or did. So, I didn't used to like rock music. This is negative sentence. Do you used to live in Manchester? Question sentence. Let's make sentences using a form of used to. You have a blue car. So, we have to make question sentence here. For that, we are using did. Did you used to have a blue car? And second one, I not enjoy fishing. So we are making sentence in negative. I didn't used to enjoy fishing. He smoked a lot. This is positive sentence. For that we are using this structure. He used to smoke a lot. We cannot use used to with a time reference plus number. So, if we have numbers in our sentences, we cannot use used to. So, if we look, when I was uh, young, I used to visit my uncle every summer. As it is every summer, this is a time reference, but this is not a number. But, in the sentence, when I was a teenager, I went to Rome three times. This three times, three shows the number. That's why we cannot use here used to. Let's make the sentences describing past habits or states. We lived Florida for two years. The key word is for two years, numbers. So the sentence will be, we lived in Florida for two years. Second sentence, he buy a car every year. Keyword, every year. Time reference, but not a number. So, he used to buy a car every year. She drink too much tea. No numbers. She used to drink too much tea. I work in a shop last year. Keyword, a last year. So, I worked in a shop last year. In narrative, describing a series of actions, it is common to begin with used to uh, and continue with would. Narratives, if you remember, we are using narrative tenses to describe or to tell us stories. So, we may start with used to to tell our story about past habit, but we may continue it with would if it's not a state. So, for example, we can look here. We used to live in a small village in a, the countryside. In the summer, we'd get, play outside and would spend hours on end fishing. So, would and would. So, we did these actions regularly. Let's continue this one. In the evening, I would go home tired and dirty. Usually, my mom would shout at us for being late. Be used to plus noun and uh, plus noun ing form or get used to plus noun and ing form. So, this express an action that was difficult before or strange or unusual before, but this is no longer so. So, it is totally different from used to plus infinitive. Used to plus infinitive, as you remember, was about the past action or past habit. But this one was difficult and strange or uh, unusual before, 
but no longer so. So uh, we are getting used to. She is used to having her own office now. Used to. I'm used to the city now. I thought it was too noisy at first. Used to here is an adjective and it means familiar with. She is familiar with her office now. She is familiar with the city now. Second one, we use get with used to express the process of change. So I'm getting used to living in a new country. It means it was difficult, but now it is getting easier. He finally got used to walk, waking up early every day. Before it was difficult to wake up early, now easier, got easier. Uh, find out what uh, these sentences mean. So from the sentences, let's uh, guess their meanings. A familiar situation, is it a situation that is getting easier or is it a past habit? I'm getting used to having a job. This is getting easier. I used to eat a lot of junk food. I don't do it anymore. This is past habit. She is used to driving a car. So this is a familiar situation. We will get used to living here. We'll get used to. This is getting easier. I'm finally used to living alone. I'm finally used to. This is a familiar situation. So students, I hope you understood this topic and if you have any questions, of course, you may ask it uh, on, uh, to your teacher when you will come back to our courses and I wish you health. Bye-bye.